Hey there, this is Joshua Barkley, a.k.a. JB Free. That's my rapper name. I'm calling out to you, the WB, showing you that physics is easy if you do it freestylistically. Uh, that means uh, that you are doing it creatively, that you are uh, doing it quickly and thinking out of the box, and also not afraid to make mistakes because that is how we learn. By the way, uh, you can actually, by clicking down there, you can change the... Uh, speed of playback on YouTube if you have an HTML5 compatible browser, which Chrome is. First of all, I'd like to talk about AP Physics a little bit and some of the requirements and some of the uh, attitudes that are going to be necessary to be successful in this course. Uh, I would like to mention that this school uh, was named by the Washington Post as one of the most challenging high schools in the nation and this, AP Physics, is the most challenging course at this high school, which makes this one of the most challenging courses in the nation. In fact, it's so difficult that from time to time the AP Physics exam writers actually get a problem wrong. This stuff is tough. Even the people that write the test can't get it right all the time. You've got to have immense compassion for yourself and others in this course. This may be the most difficult academic challenge you will ever face. Uh, for some folks, it will be the most difficult challenge overall that they will ever face. But the good news is that this actually trains you to be tough. I call it grit training. Angela Duckworth, uh, a professor at UPenn, uh, studied all kinds of people in all walks of life and found that in all those very different contexts, one characteristic emerged as a significant predictor of success. It wasn't social intelligence, it wasn't good looks, physical health, and it wasn't IQ. It was grit. And she defines grit as passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Having stamina, sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, and working really hard to make that future a reality. Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, and that's what we're gonna uh, is going to be necessary. We have to work as a team and be extremely flexible in this course. No one can do this alone. I can't do it alone. It's taken me years and years of working with students to get to the point that I'm at. We're going to have to work together as a team. Everyone in here has something to teach. we got to strive to work collaboratively with everyone, absolutely no exceptions. Everyone learns differently. Thus, there are multiple paths to success and to the grade that you want. You can propose your own project to demonstrate you understand something. If you don't learn well from uh, doing problems, maybe you need to make a poster or a video or a freestyle rap to show your understanding. It's whatever works best for you. We have to participate. It is a percentage of your grade. And different people, again, may participate and contribute in different ways. Asking questions, that's a valid form of participation. Teaching others, critical. It's really how you learn is teaching others. Presenting your work, evaluating others' work. These can all count as participation, which is part of your grade. Um, an important theme this year is going to be making your thinking visible. Uh, for example, you must show your work for WebAssign. Getting it right on WebAssign, to me, means not a whole lot. But if you show me your work then I can verify that you actually have done it on WebAssign. Uh, a lab portfolio is required and is a very important part of this course. In fact, you will need this lab portfolio in order to get credit at some universities. I had a student uh, not so long ago who got a 5 on the AP exam but lost credit in the lab because he did not keep a good lab portfolio. Making your thinking visible for your colleagues, other students here, for your teachers, and ultimately the graders of the AP exam is paramount. It doesn't matter if you know it all. If you can't show that you know it, you will not get credit in this course or in any other course for that matter. you got to be able to clearly express and represent these physical laws that we're learning. you got to do them diagrammatically with a picture, mathematically with equations or symbols. With graphs, you've got to be able to show relationships with graphs. And now more than ever, you're going to have to be able to do this with prose, with describing things. In fact, some of the questions on the AP exam will say, without using any mathematical symbols, explain this concept. To succeed in this course, uh, there's a couple things that will help. First of all, your textbook. The textbook is the only resource that's guaranteed to cover all the topics. Now, if you read something you can't make sense of it, this is where I can help. Ask me questions if you don't understand anything. 
optional chapter outlines. If you see the resources tab on WebAssign, you'll see how to do those. But for some people, doing those optional outlines can not only help you understand the stuff better, but it is giving you some extra points that uh, can be useful. See WebAssign for the links to the flipped class lectures and notes. Uh, I've uh, collected a bunch of resources together that will allow you to see all kinds of different lectures online. You don't necessarily have to watch mine, but some of the best lecturers in the world, in fact, are on YouTube to help you learn physics. One thing that I want to stress is using the systematic or guess method of problem solving. That does not mean to guess. Here's what that means. It means that you first write down your givens. Givens must include a diagram. Again, showing your thinking. That's the one thing that I'll be saying more and more than anything else is where's your picture. Then you write down the unknowns. You list what you're trying to find. Equations. We're going to have a whole lot of equations this year. Uh, there may be more than one that apply. So you may have to list several equations and figure out how to solve a system of equations. You solve, and very importantly, uh, I'm going to stress this very much, you got to be able to solve symbolically. Uh, that means using symbols, letters, not necessarily numbers, but uh, there may be coefficients, but solving symbolically is truly the best way to go. You're going to only substitute another S. You will substitute if necessary, but a lot of times you may not even need to substitute. There may not even be any numbers given to you. Finally, uh, you have to be able to make sure that it's sensible. Make sure it does make sense. For example, uh, if you got a, uh, a rocket ship speed of 4 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, that doesn't make sense. Why? That's faster than the speed of light, which is physically impossible to do. Uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you at the next one. This is JB Free signing off saying physics is easy when you do it freestylistically.